professional prep video and my name is Rutvik and here we go with unit one primitive data types so first this is JGraph that I'm using it's just a Java compiler um, and so that's what I'm going to be using throughout most of my videos here and just so that everyone knows um, these statements are just comments meaning that they will not be executed by the compiler if I try to compile this so they will not result in any errors um, that's why they are in orange. They're completely disregarded by the compiler when I run this. So I'll be using them to take notes throughout. And they're really important, especially in larger programs where you might not remember every little thing and might have to come back. And then if you have comments here, then you'll see them and you'll be like, oh yeah, um, that's this section of code does so and so. So that's why the comments are very important. So I just wanted to say before we get started that this course will indeed cover major AP Computer Science A topics, but it's not a textbook, so it won't really be covering every little thing. So it's really good if you want some review or if you want to learn some Java, but we're not a textbook. We hope that this is an enjoyable experience for all. And so without, without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with a definition. Keywords. So keywords, they're simply just words that make up a program. Um, these are the only things that can be used in a program. If the Java compiler does not recognize a keyword, then it will call errors. And you can see these errors here. I typed FG in originally, and it called errors on me. So that's because those are not keywords that the compiler recognizes. So keep that in mind. And so next, the file name has to match the class name. So we'll go over what these two statements are as we move along in our course. It'll start to make sense more. But right now what you should know is the class name, which is this, the unit one, must match the file name, which is shown here if you're using JGraph. If it does not match, like for example, if I change this to unit two, that's going to get me an error. And that's just a basic step that you must take in order to compile it. And as you can see, it's calling an error here. So I need to change that back and then it will compile. And for now, it won't run anything. So um, next, let's go over our basics here. System.out.println. This is our first main program statement that we will see. And essentially, just system print ln and you can go into parentheses and just type something and run it and the code's output will show high and as you can see it's just printing that now something really important there's actually two major ways to print print ln which I show here actually takes the cursor and moves it onto the next line after it has displayed what I printed so the cursor is actually here and if I go to print something now, then print A, it'll show up on the next line. However, as you can see, high in A. However, it's important to note system.out.print is another function altogether that will not move the code to the next line. So say that I wanted to keep the A on the same line as high, I can do that. And now it's going to print the three letters all together. That's the latest output down there. So you can see how that makes an impact. And so keep that in mind if you're coding. Print and print ln do different things. So methods. Um, this is just another definition to know. Methods are part of libraries, which contain many methods. Basically, um, methods basically just, they perform many tasks to simplify programming. Now, for example, system.out.print, actually, that's a member of a class known as the print stream class. So that right there, there's an application to a definition. And now let's move into what a variable is. Variables are items that we're going to be using a lot throughout this course. And so a variable is just any any you can call it anything so we'll go over what this int is after but let's say we want to make a variable called I don't know lemonade 
So we put lemonade and say that we sold seven cups of lemonade yesterday. There. That this is a variable lemonade and the equal sign assigns the variable lemonade to seven. So now what you can do is lemonade is now a word that the compiler can recognize. So say that I want to print that value of seven and I do system that out to print L lemonade. So now the, what the compiler is going to do is it's going to recognize this statement. It's going to say, Ooh, lemonade, where's that? And it's defined here. So it's now going to take lemonade and it's going to print its value of seven, which you can see right there. And that's what a variable is. And now this also ties into how to declare a variable. You put the data type, which we will go over in our next chapter one video, um, the variable name, the equals operator, and what you want to set it equal to. That's how to declare variables. That's called declaring and initializing. You can also do this in two separate, two separate steps. In lemonade, you can use to declare and lemonade equals seven. That's initializing. And they, they're basically, you, you'll see the one line format. You'll see this, but you can also do this. And it shows the two separate steps. And sure enough, if you print the same thing, it will recognize lemonade and it will give you that same. Actually, this brings up a good point. So I was given an error here because I already defined lemonade. So what I have to do is I need to uncomment that. I cannot use the data type again. We'll touch on that more later. But anyway, going back to my previous point, this this also needs to be uncommented. You need to declare variables as you go. You cannot declare variables. You cannot say print something and then um, declare it on a separate line. So for example here we have this line commented out. So if we say system dot out to print ln lemonade, it can't find a lemonade. So that's going to lead to an error. It says cannot find symbol. It this needs to be declared before the print statement. But now if we uncomment that, this works perfectly and gives us seven because we have declared it, initialized it, and then used it. So that's all for this video. We will talk more about more data types and what this int actually means in our next video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you next time. Thank you. <laughs>